yep so after opening the vmware workstation now you need to click on uh, create a virtual machine so you need to follow it make uh, make sure you are selecting the first option typically recommended option and then next and i'm not going to install neither uh, windows server operating system right now or nor i'm going to install the windows client operating system right now we will do it later on first of all we will create the virtual machine for that for uh, for the operating systems so i'm going to click on next and then microsoft windows i'm going to install one virtual machine i will be creating for the windows server so i'm going to select windows server 2016 if you have downloaded 2019 then select the 2019 or 12 as per your download uh, download options then click on next then uh, uh, you can give the virtual machine name you can change it also you can uh, mention 2019 I'm going to mention 2016 as minus 2016 so then hit on next and then you can uh, make sure at least you are giving the space of 40 gig not more than that or if you are gi giving the space 50 gig that is also good but uh, you are not supposed to give the space like 20 gig or 25 gig all right so 40 gig is the good I'm going to put the 40 gig space and then hit on next and uh, the memory it is showing here uh, 2 2 gig of RAM I'm going to increase the RAM size how you are gonna increase it it's very simple you can just select this 4 gig of RAM and then close it so the RAM size is increased it is a 4 gig now 2 core of CPU CPU already selected now hit on finish now you will see here Windows Server 2016 you have virtual machine you have created although you have not installed it but virtual machine you have created now you need to go to the setting I am going to Windows 2016 virtual machine Windows Server 2016 edit virtual and then what I'll do I'll just go to the setting which is uh, the the option under the setting we have to go to the option and uh, in the option we have to go to the advanced setting under the advanced setting we have to select a BIOS and then hit on OK and then again we have to go to the virtual machine setting Windows Server 2016 and then we have to go to the option CD DVD setup installation alright and then we have to select the ISO image path we have to select the path from here from the browse section all right so browse section we have to come here and uh, now we have to go to the folder where we have the Windows server image uh, here we have this one all right now hit on OK now I have selected the image also so now I am gonna click on uh, this uh, power on I have to power on the virtual machine and then you have to hit the any key any particular key to get this process started so do you see the guys uh, the installation of Windows Server 2016 has been uh, started on my machine now the same thing I will do it for the Windows 10 and then I will uh, basically you know create a client server uh, interconnection to manage it so you need to follow these steps then hit on next and then install e install now setup is uh, starting it might take for a while all right now it is going to ask you which one you want to install there's a Windows Server 2016 standard there's a Windows Server 2016 uh, standard evalua uh, evaluation data data experience the sorry desktop experience and Windows Server 2016 data center evaluation des desktop experience this is the one I would like to go with not the standard I would like to go with the data center evaluation desktop experience and then hit on next 
when you hit on next and then select the term and condition then hit on next and then uh, upgrade or custom install so I had provided 40 gig space this is the unallocated space I'm gonna click on next now the installation will be started and now it is uh, copying all the files you might have to wait a little bit and then the installation will be done and then initially it will ask you to uh, follow the initial setup I'm gonna make the video fast forward it here Now again we have to type the same password again. Now hit on finish. Alright, so we have successfully installed the Windows Server 2016 operating system. Now we have to press Ctrl, Alt and Delete all together. Now we have to click on cancel. You will see the sign in page here please wait control all delete another time and now here we go so now you can type the password which you just now created and here we go so this is your Windows Server operating system which we are gonna use to manage manage uh, all the services all right so installation part has been completed for the server now we have to go to the client virtual machine we have to click on yes and then the server manager is here so this is uh, for 180 days i will also discuss about how to install the active directory and all so I do not want you to stay here this video is already pretty much long so we have uh, complete the installation of server now we will move on to the another thing let me close it now I'm going to power it off give me a moment I'm gonna power it off this machine this installation is done make sure whenever you are not using it you are making it power it off okay so it's a better not to power it off shut down this one all right click on the this one icon and then click on the power icon then click on shut down shut down continue all right now it will be automatically power it off all right now right i have successfully deleted this one now i'm going to create a virtual machine for it again and then now i will uh, pick the file for it windows 10 and later detect it okay uh, we have to click on next and then uh, i will do it later and then windows 10 windows 10 64 we have to select this one and then uh, next then uh, the space should be 40 gig 40.0 and then next and then 2 gig uh, okay 2 gig is enough all right now go to finish now this is a virtual machine we have created uh, all right now we have to go to the edit, uh, edit section under the edit section we have to go to the option and uh, under the option we have to go to the advance and we have to select the bias okay and then go to the uh, edits uh, ed edit section again and then go to the set operation and then go to the image section and then we have to select the windows iso image 
so it is there in the download section the client server operating system vmware windows client os this is a file we have to click on open and then ok and now we have to just power on the virtual machine let's see what will happen just to hit any key and the installation will be begin all right so it's working fine now we are installing the windows uh, 10 operating system the client operating system on the machine the vmware machine Just a moment, just a moment. All right, now we have to select a couple of options US, uh, United States, and yes. And uh, just a moment. All right, and then US second keyboard layout uh, skip and uh, now let's connect to a network never connect to a network click on I do not have internet and then click on continue with a limited setup this one option and then this is a very short process it will not ask you any any more questions you can just give the name I am going to give the name admin and then click on next and the password I'm going to select the password all right so finally we are back on the Windows uh, home screen maybe later all right so we are back on the home screen now we will uh, so this is this is about in this video this is all about in this video and now in the next video we will discuss about how to make the machine uh, uh, how to create a user in the active directory how to install the active directory the organize organizational unit how to create and containers and all and objects we will discuss e each and everything in the next video so thank you so much for watching this video and please do like and share the video with your colleague or whomsoever need it more thank you so much bye bye take care